Legends never stop evolving. The original Retro Tech sneaker of 2010 gets remastered. Built with refined mesh, pigskin, and leather details, the desaturated colorways make this shoe a true statement for sporty people that don't want to give up on quality or style. What's up, y'all? It's Daniel the Chumalier, and today we have a twofer. That's right, we have two different colorways of the same silhouette. Now, I found these sitting on the shelf at Kicking It ATX, among other colorways of this same silhouette, and these two really stuck out for me, and we'll talk a little bit by later on in the video. But today, we have the pink and the white colorway of the Saucony Pro Grid Omni 9 Premium. The 2000s called this 2010 highlight of the Pro Grid Omni 9 adds breathable mesh and synthetic details to functional and utilitarian outdoor considerations for a throwback appeal. Constructed with premium suede, the perforated poly upper adds breathability. A premium sock liner and polyurethane midsole add a touch of sustainability and the durable rubber outsole and Omni 9 cushioning system is made to handle any terrain you run across. Now, when it comes to fit, my foot's about a 9.25, but that shoe size does not exist. So depending on the brand and depending on the silhouette, I either wear a size nine, hope that fits or remove the insole, or go up to a nine and a half, hope that fits or put in a third party insole. In most, if not all of the Sauconies that I have wore, true to size, which is a size nine for me, seems to fit, well, true to size. So I say whatever size you get when it comes to Saucony, especially in the Omni Pro Grid 9, I say go for it. That's the shoe size for me. Now, I like wiggle room in the toe box and I don't like a lot of lockdown in the midfoot. And I'm wearing these shoes for lifestyle purposes and not running purposes. So take all of that how you want, depending on how you intend to wear these shoes. And when it comes to comfort, this is actually a really comfortable shoe. It's very light, it doesn't feel heavy underfoot or above foot, and it's got a nice firm yet slightly squishy bounce to it. I wouldn't call it overly bouncy like Boost or React or even Air, but it's certainly not hard and firm and stern and awful feeling on your feet like a Jordan 1 or any of those old fashioned basketball rubber outsoles. As mentioned, it has that Omni 9 cushioning system. And so if you're hoping for a more firm fit when you walk, but still comfortable, well then I feel comfortable in saying this shoe will be for you. Not super squishy, not super bouncy. If you're looking for that, well, you're probably gonna strike out. Now, when I saw this white colorway at Kicking It ATX, not an ad, hashtag no free shout outs, I said, that looks like a Yeezy 700 analog, and it kind of does. And I don't want people to go like, oh, that's a poor man's Yeezy, because it's not. Yeezy doesn't have an, a monopoly on all white beige type color grades, whatever. But it does have that sort of look and vibe to it. And I really like it because it has the 3M on the back up here on the heel, surrounding the Omni 9 look. And uh, I guess that's kind of it. <clears throat> I don't know if the plastic uh, glows or anything like that. But it is a very, very understated shoe. It's like, it's all white. And I saw it and I go, I think I have to have that shoe. And when I saw what it was sitting next to, this pink one, which is not overly like Easter pink, it's a muted pink. And the way they've mixed the earth tones with the pink, with the white, with the gray, this also, it's the same shoe. So of course it has a 3M on the back and it has its surrounding on there. These are great shoes. As I mentioned, they feel good on foot. They are not heavy. They are super light. So if you're looking for something that, I don't know, is not going to weigh you down and going to help you move along, well, these two colorways, or really any colorway of the OmniGrid 9, uh, these are the premium according to the Saucony website. But I think any of these will be just fine. I love this pink one. Down here in Texas, we've had winter. It was our three days of Arctic blast. We'll have one more Arctic winter. We always do around Easter, and then winter is officially over. So you can pretty much wear colors all year long. It doesn't matter. The white one... You tread lightly, but that goes for any place at any point because white just collects dirt. Um, but I'm going to add these two to my rotation station. I can't wait to wear both of these, not at the same time, but I can't wait to wear both of these because these are really, really nice. I will admit that off and on, I've been on and off of the Saucony bus. Now, I don't actively search out Saucony. I haven't, rather, actively searched out Saucony or kept my eyes open. I just glance over and go like, oh, where's Adidas? Where's Nike? Blah, blah, blah. But I will say that <clears throat> over the history of my shoot'em, I have purchased Saucony. I purchased Asics. I've worn Pumas, Reeboks, not the big two or anything, or big three if you're counting Jordan brand as a third one. Um, but yes, I have to give a lot of credit to J-Tips for kind 
kind of going like, oh, hey, Saucony, we're, we're on the rise. They're on the come up, as the kids say. And these are two understated colorways of this silhouette. I highly, highly suggest you check them out on the website. They still have tons of colors. They have still tons of sizes. In fact, if you go to the Saucony website right now, the Saucony ProGrid Omni 9 Premium in pink and white and other colorways retail for 150 US American dollars. And you can find, I think, all of the colorways in a full size run on the Saucony website. So if you want the white, it's there. If you want the pink, I think it's still there. There's other colorways. There's louder colorways. There's more mixtures of colors. Maybe you're not into the whole monochromatic look. That's fine. I am, but I'm also into super loud colors like the J-Tips, who is a three for three, four for four, based on that picture he showed on Instagram. And that one's the best one. Man, that first one I thought was going to be hard to top. This fourth one, oh man, that one's killer. Got to have that. So, hey, go check these out. Uh, let's talk about these in the comment section down below because they're both super good, super cool. Uh, they're affordable, quote unquote. I say that now affordable when you compare it to other shoes and the way they're priced. Ultra Boost at 180, if not more Jordans, while getting near that 200, if not over 200 price point, depending on the silhouette. Yeah, <clears throat> it's tough to like shoes because uh, shoes are going up, but these are still somewhat on the lower end of the spectrum. So if you're into that, go check it out. Let's talk about both of these colorways, this silhouette, in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.